Welcome to a special St. Benedict's Rule On Demand. I'm your host, Benedictine Oblate Joe Prostrolo of St. Joseph, Minnesota. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Benedict of Nursia, the father of Western monasticism. This is a special day throughout Benedictine communities all across the world as many monks, nuns, and oblates who will proclaim their solemn vows, their first vows, and promises. Others will enter the novitiate, a year-long study of St. Benedict and church history. So today, we pray for them all and ask God's blessing upon St. Benedict, our Blessed Father. Let us begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Psalm 75 When I establish the appointed time, then I myself will judge with fairness, though the earth and all who dwell in it may rock, 
it is I who set firm its pillars. To the boastful I say, do not boast. To the wicked, do not flaunt your strength. Do not flaunt your strength on high. Do not speak with insolent pride. For neither from the east nor from the west, nor from the desert comes honor. For God himself is the judge. One he humbles, another he exalts. As for me, I will rejoice forever, and sing psalms to the God of Jacob. I shall break the strength of the wicked, while the strength of the just will be exalted. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from Shirak. You that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. Do not stray, lest you fall. You shall fear the Lord, trust in him, and your reward will not be lost. You that fear the Lord, hope for good things, for lasting joy and mercy. Consider the generations long past and see. Has anyone trusted in the Lord and been disappointed? Has anyone persevered in his fear and been forsaken? Has anyone called upon him and been ignored? For the Lord is compassionate and merciful, forgives sins and saves in the time of trouble. Let's take a moment and reflect on that reading with our Lexio Divina. You that fear the Lord. Has anyone trusted in the Lord and been disappointed? Has anyone called upon Him and been ignored? Lord is compassionate. Lord is merciful. Forgive sins. This morning's anaphone. Joseph forgave his brothers, saying, Can I take the place of God? The Benedictus, the Canticle of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from our hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation, by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever, Amen. This morning's intercessions. God, you called St. Benedict to be a master teacher in the school of the Lord's service. In company with him, we pray, 
Bring wisdom to our hearts, O God. Fill us with a love of learning and a desire for God. Bring wisdom to our hearts, O God. Let peace fill our hearts, our world, and our universe. Bring wisdom to our hearts, O God. Show us how to use technology for the building up of our kingdom. Bring wisdom to our hearts, O God. Let us pray for the sick, that God may restore them to health, to mind, and to body. Bring wisdom to our hearts, O God. And let us pray for our deceased brothers and sisters, that God may bring them to everlasting life. Bring wisdom to our hearts, O God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God always keep every adversity far from you and in his kindness pour out upon you the gifts of his blessing. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to his words that they may be filled with everlasting gladness. Amen. And so may you always understand what is good and right, and be found ever hastening along in the path of God's commands, made co-heirs with the citizens of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. May we prefer nothing to the love of Christ, and may he bring us together in everlasting life. Amen. And there you have it. That concludes this week's St. Benedict's Rule On Demand. We hope it's brought peace and strength into your life. And as we do each week, we'd love to hear from you. You may send us your messages and prayer requests by going to our website, stbenedictsrule.com. There you'll find the Contact Us page to send your notes. Also, while you're there, this ministry is listener-supported. We hope you'll help us out with a one-time donation or a recurring one each month. Any amount you find in your heart to send us will be a blessing and greatly appreciate it. And for that, I thank you. That's stbenedictsrule.com, all one word. So for this week, all across the country and all around the world, I'm Joe Prostrello wishing you much peace and God's blessings. 
This is St. Benedict's Rule On Demand. So long. Amen.